Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how to make a dog sweater for this winter and um, it's great for gifts, they're great for your friends who have pets or yourself, uh, especially that dogs that have short fur and short hair fur and that are cold during the winter. So I already started this project and I'm going to show you what I did. Um, I chained 20 and I basically I did single stitch on through the extra stitch and I'm going to demonstrate that after I explain this to you. So this part of the um, work is for the neck area of the dog and this is going to be like a turtleneck for my dog and I have a Jack Russell and a Toy Fox Terrier mixed with a Chihuahua and the one I'm making it for is my Toy Fox Terrier mixed with a Chihuahua because he is very cold this winter and he is also petite so I'm going to take um, um, I'm going to take some pictures and I'll show you the size of my dog. So if it's the same size the dog you have, um, you can use the same pattern. So I'm going to show you how I did this ribbing part. So basically, um, at the end of the work you want to chain one, which I already did. And you want to put it through the extra stitch, which is right here. And you also want to you don't want to make, you don't want to do your work really tight. You want to do it, um, not loose, but, um, perfect. Not perfect, but you know what I mean. Not too tight, not too loose. So you have the leeway of pulling, pulling the, uh, crochet hook through. Because if you do it tight, it's going to be difficult for you to put the crochet hook through a stitch. So that's what I'm doing, and I'm going to show you one more time. So this stitch right here, not, it's not the regular stitch, it's this, this stitch right here. Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull both through both. So you're going to continue to do that until you re reach your desired length for your dog's neck. You want to make sure you measure your dog's neck with a measuring, or you can just measure it while you go. Um... So, so when you do that, it makes a ribbing effect, and this is actually really good for um, the dogs because if it's a pullover, they can just stretch a little and pull over the sweater for the dog. So I'm going to um, do the required length for my dog, and we'll come back and do the part of the arms and the legs. So I finished crocheting the rib sided for the collar part. Now we were crocheting this way. Now we're going to turn our work. I chained one already when I finished off the um, collar. So now we're going to single crochet for three rows on this side. So I turned my work. So we were crocheting this side once again and I turned it. So we're going to be working this length. Um, so. I'm going to show you how I crochet here. So for the first one, you just you all you just want to single crochet this whole um, length. And the thing is, it's very easy. See, you want to put both of the stitches in there. Um, you can don't have to single crochet. You can also do double crochet, um, whatever design you like. Um, so we're going to do that for three rows and I'll meet you back here. I did make a dog sweater before and um, you can see this is pretty old. He's been wearing it for a while now. Um, I didn't make a turtleneck. I made like a turtleneck that split into two. Um, so the drapes back and the two holes. And the thing is I am um, making a turtleneck this time. So I remeasured it and it was just three. So uh, three single row crochet here, and then I started making the um, arms, armholes. So I finished making three of the single single row crochet, and now what we're going to do, we're going to start with the arms. So I've worked the arms through three separate portions, and it, it's going to um, be much easier, I find it. So what you'll need is some markers some stitch markers. So what I'm going to do here, so I'm going to crochet 
five single crochets. So we're going to do that for, so I'll show you for this instance. So, so we're going to do five single crochets here. One, two, three, four, and five. So now what I want to do is put a stitch marker on this fifth one. And we're going to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to do that five stitches again, and we're going to do it for at least ten rows. And I'll be back and explain how to do the rest. I'm going to uh, close off. And also, we are going to put... So, I'm going to close off first. I continue. So, just snip that off and close it off. And then now, what we're going to do is we're going to need another stitch marker, and we're going to count four. So, um, including this one. One, two, three, four. And we're going to slip the stitch marker inside. So, now we can turn our work, and we're going to join over here and do the same exact thing. Um, we're gonna, first we're going to count off five first. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to slip the stitch marker in. And then we're going to also do for the, th the three that we have to skip. So one, two, three, four. So I'm going to stick that right in this stitch and close off. So now what I want to do is I want to join in the yarn and we're going to do this by slipping the stitch through and okay. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to crochet. Five single crochet. Two. Um, and we're replicating the same exact way on the other side. Three. Oh, I did that one. Four. And five. Okay. And then you're going to chain one turn our work and we're going to do 10 rows and I will continue with the middle part when we come back. I'm going to close it off again and so we're going to snip just a little piece oh, and then put our string through the loop and pull it through. So since we've finished that part, let's get back. We're going to join, um, we're going to do the same exact part, but we're going to start over here and we're going to start doing this and single crocheting up to 10 uh, rows again. And so I'm going to grab my crochet hook and we're going to stick. So the, the second marker that we put here to our left we're going to join and make our, and then we're going to crochet all the way through um, for 10 rows. Single crochet or whatever pattern you want. Um, you can do other patterns, but I'm doing a single crochet because we have a ribbed up here and um, I just like it that way, making it simple as can be. So one, so we're going to single crochet until this part and then we're going to do it to 10 rows until the length matches to this side and then I'll come back and explain.